everyone this is Ye Kalpana here in this video we are going to see a problem from differential equation which is in m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form so let's get started problem solve x square minus 2xy into dx plus sine y minus x square into dy equals to 0 solution given differential equation x square minus 2xy into dx plus sine y minus x square into dy equals to 0. Consider as equation 1. Which is of m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form. Where by comparing these two equations, we'll get m equals to x square minus 2xy and n equals to sine y minus x square. If partial derivative of m with respect to y is equals to partial derivative of n with respect to x, then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. Okay. So let's find the partial derivative of m with respect to y and partial derivative of n with respect to x. Partial derivative of m dou m by dou y equals to dou by dou y of for m equals to x square minus 2xy. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so we'll treat x as constant. Okay, this is equals to dou by dou y of x square minus dou by dou y of 2xy. Since derivative of partial derivative of constant with respect to y is 0 minus 2 and x are constant. So you can write this as constant into partial derivative of y with respect to y. Partial derivative of y with respect to y equals to minus 2x into. You can write this as dou y by dou y which is equals to minus 2x into. Partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 is equal to minus 2x. Okay. Now, let's find the partial derivative of n with respect to x is equal to dou y dou x of n. For n equals to sine y minus x squared. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so sine y will be treated as constant. This is equal to dou y dou x into sine y. Okay. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so the function containing y will be treated as constant, okay? Since y is constant, so that sine y will be constant. Minus dou y dou x of x squared. This equals to partial derivative of constant with respect to x is 0 minus partial derivative of x squared with respect to x is 2x. This equals to minus 2x right so here dou m by dou y equals to dou n by dou x therefore dou m by dou y equals to minus 2x and again you're having minus 2x which is equals to dou n by dou x therefore dou m by dou y partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x from this we can say that 1 is an exact equation. Okay. Now, we'll find the general solution. We know that the general solution of exact equation is given by integral over x m into dx plus integral of terms of n free from x into dy equals to constant. 
Let's consider the first integral, integral over x, m into dx, that is integrating m with respect to x, treating y as constant. is equals to integral of m for m equals to x squared this is your m and this is your n for m equals to x squared minus 2xy into dx here y is treated as constant right 2 and y are constants here this is equals to integral x squared into dx minus integral 2xy into dx this is equals to integral x squared dx plus minus Write the constants outside the integral. That is, we'll write 2 and y outside the integral. Minus 2y into integral x dx. Is equals to integral x squared dx is x cubed by 3. Minus 2y into integral x dx is x squared by 2. Here 2 gets cancelled. Therefore, integral over x, m into dx, is x cubed by 3 minus x squared by. Now, consider the second integral. Integral of terms of n free from x into dy. We are having n equals to sine y minus x squared. So the term which does not involve x is sine y. Okay. The second term is having x. So we won't take x squared. This equals integral of terms of n free from x is sine y into dy. Integral sine y dy is minus cos y. Okay. Therefore, the general solution is the result obtained from m dx. Therefore, the general solution of one is the result obtained from the first integral that is x cubed by 3 minus x square y plus the result obtained from the second integral minus cos y equals to integral constant c which is the required general solution. So this is all for now. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.